All right, we're back here. You first arrived here yesterday at mm -hmm. 9 p.m. All right, thanks for the heads up. At that time, lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. Mm. It was 11.25 p.m. But the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m. After we finished sinking with so. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Ridiculous. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. Hmm. The report does not specify. Gonna have to talk to them. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Outside influence? In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Okay. Examining it will not reveal any further information. What about the forklift? It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Looks to be the case. It's a overhead crane. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. All right. What about Fort Lib B? A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Mmm, ice cutting machine. That machine is used to cut ice. Do they store ice here? Or do they not? There Shelves. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. How dare they? Hmm. There are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. Okay. What about these oil drums? Hi, I'm Jermaimon. Iba, the jokes, you've got to stop. box there is nothing inside cool nothing but finding nothing may in fact be something mm. what do you mean i was just thinking out loud let's get going date your temperature is dropping at this rate they might find your body in here this is time to go. Hardware box on the floor. It's nothing. All right, one more area to explore. Let's go to police headquarters. Need to talk to the bus. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here. In the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. <clears throat> I have some errands to run. One of the higher ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. Kind of. I think I know what she's gonna do if she follows the same things she did in the first timeline. So is he gonna just tell the same story as Diddy as 
that he did uh, last time. I wonder if our sink's going to be the same too. If we have to sink with him. Let's get started. Number 89. Your real name. I don't know. I forgot. I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Oh, you know about that. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. Uh-huh. I told him to call somebody. Somebody? I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> All right. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. <laughs> You're lying. You don't want to release me. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Here's what I mean! It's gonna attack. <clears throat> Jeez. Uh, Peter, why didn't you do anything? You'll make a good hostage for me. Take me to the exit. Now. Ah, so things are a lot different in this timeline once again. Everything's playing out differently. <coughs> All because we did that first sink. Uh, we tackled it differently. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, darn. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. Let's see if Peter's okay. He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He must have planned this. You're rather calm about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. <laughs> Understandable. Number 89 still has it. But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll give it to you later. How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. Boss, it's my fault he got away. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. Go catch him. I'm the one who has to go on an apology tour now. <sighs> you really messed up this time. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. 
Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. So he had an accomplice? Uh. Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Who was it? You and I know him well. Rancho? Oh, shit. Well, 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 Renju. Why? Date, Moma is home. Moma? From the Kumakuras? I'll connect him. Hey, Date. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Get our deal. Deal? What deal? You forgot already? I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. <clears throat> you know what to do. What should we do? We have no choice. We have to take her. To Moma? Yes. Wouldn't hurt her, he's a fan. D -d that is totally not true. <laughs> oh my gosh! Late, 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 late. You're late. I'm going home. Never! Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? No, of course not. You're drunk. I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding. I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited. We are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. So where are we going? All right. To where the dragon is. <laughs> to meet the dragon. The dragon? Like that dragon? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Like a fantasy world with swords and magic. And you're going to teleport me there. Woohoo! I'm getting fired up! She completely... She didn't understand anything. <laughs> totally went over her head. building, right? Yeah, the Kumakuras. And you were trying to make me believe this was some kind of fantasy world? No. That's what you thought. <clears throat> what? Dante lied to me! Dante, you bastard! <laughs> you made Tessa cry! <clears throat> Mister, save me! Throw this man into Tokyo Bay! Oh, jeez. Got it! I'll have him sleeping with the fishes. This is an interesting turn of events. I can hardly believe it. Mama, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did! You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okiura? Surely. Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. <laughs> here, take it. Wait, 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 no. I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. 
Come on, it's not like they're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. Aww. You guys are a good team. Like siblings. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. I could... Hey, I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. Dante, come here. Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this, but... Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Oh, that's it? Sure. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh, wants to see your boobs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't say <laughs> that! Oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. Oh, a handshake. Sure! I would never show my boobs. Oh, uh, man. That's a good one. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Second, Ikume Shrine. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. <laughs> Got it, thanks. No problem, bro, really. Cool. <clears throat> Anything else I need to do? Probably talk to her. Sorry for bringing you here. I it's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. That is contradictory as little as thief. <laughs> the old boss was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after I took over, we went crystal clean. Crystal? Methamphetamines. <laughs> no, we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Cut? Their throats. <laughs> no, not like that. What happened to Mr. Okura? I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. about Tessa's dead body? Oh, well... Dante saw a parallel world with my dead body in it! <laughs> a parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah! Of course I have! Yeah, yeah, right! Parallel worlds and all that shit! Yeah! I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24! Mama is lying. He is at least 48. He's at least 48? Holy shit. 
Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. Uh, how did you know that? Is he stupid? <laughs> Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASAP fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Gambling. That debt ASAP! No <laughs> worries. Uh, forget Fred ASAP! Now what does she say? ASAP, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> this, this is kind of embarrassing. But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. <gasps> <laughs> I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? You'll be safe with him. <laughs> Are you serious? Look at his face! Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. <laughs> what if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that! I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time, we follow government regulations. See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? I told you I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date! Date! Is this true? You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. I'll get anyone that. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you! If you do, I'll tell you about last night. He yeah, has a hunting rifle or an M1. Fine. Yay! Dante, don't ignore me. A clean gang. Oh, that's just a toy. <laughs> oh, just a toy. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. We have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket and Kumi Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse, too. Where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, my chest hurts. Can... Hard to breathe. He's gonna die. <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. Why can't you just eat at Sunfish Pocket? <laughs> it's a the maid cafe. Oh, it's probably because it may be at night. I don't know. I thought I pressed the button. Soft enemy. Oh, uh, Mizuki. Wow. This oh. is surprising. She has What's that. What's going on here? Why are you two together? Oh, well, it's... Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You can even live with me if you want. <laughs> That's a great idea. The roommate I have right now really sucks. This girl. <laughs> well, 
a triple ward sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. That's an awful. I've heard that Renju was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. It was after that. After you and Ota left. Why didn't you tell me sooner? You didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. Damn it. We just missed it. How could you? Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's not like that. We're BFFs! Extraordinary power with that trident. <laughs> I think your family is really something else. He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. Looking for me? Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Mizuki? I don't know either. Hmm. Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. I can still do this. It's funny. Those are some nice headphones. <laughs> the more I look, the better it gets. Gorgeous hips. Uh, my hips? Oops, I said that out loud. You are now officially a creep. All right, we exhausted that. <laughs> still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? He really supported her. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by Lemon Escape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniscape. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Her talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Lemniscape. He knew ever since she was young that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. 
I didn't know he thought of me that way. More than sleeping and eating? Well, maybe about the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body ever since I was a little girl. And you're fast, too. Yeah, I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Hey, wanna hear something cool? Iris is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. You're as fast as your namesake, then. You wanna race? <laughs> sure. I wanna get the chance. her to dance all night. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. Yay! Iris, we're ready. All right, world, get ready! See my dance! Invincible Rainbow Arrow! Hit it! That are flying on maps mystifying You'll think that I'm lying This old tale of mine A journey through time A permanent fire Cold frost on the pyre Fruit never expires You've seen in your eyes You've seen in your mind While the old bow their heads While the blind need the blind The marble will lose a shine The icon The song sounds familiar never heard it in English. Smallest audience she probably ever had. That song. Mr. Okira wrote the music, and I wrote the lyrics. So it holds a special place in my heart. That's right. I forgot he wrote music. Yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. Okay, is that it for her? Not quite. She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work too. We'd go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Blow those boys away! Blow those boys away! Yeah, blow those boys! <laughs> Mizuki, uh... The, not, the, not the right phrasing. <laughs> Praising. Okay. What about her? She has that face. <laughs> Why are you asking me about that? <clears throat> I was just curious. The 
company was made by my grandpa. But daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. I thought I told you this. <clears throat> don't ask me the same questions over and over. Date, look. She lying. She's lying. Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? Why do you care what I do? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Um. Excuse me. Mizuki was crying earlier. Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was... And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. I did not abandon her. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. Please, try to understand. Hmm, how do we do this? I want to focus on the freaking thing. The police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. Snap. Sweet. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. But we discovered <laughs> that he was looking for Iris. Think about that later. Let's get going. Yeah, you're right. All right, on to the next stop. Yeah, this might be another short stream, too. I'm starting to feel a little weary. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I have to do more of the evening streams when I'm, uh, when we, whenever we don't go super hard. You okay? <laughs> it's okay. I just, uh, missed a step there. It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Someone? I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. But one day, he just disappeared. She's talking about... Hitomi's lover. When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for Uncle. I've been looking for him for six years. But I didn't find him anywhere. I didn't know where else to look. So instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. 
So that is why she became an idol. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Oh no, I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Aset. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. Mr. Okira isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like we came here right away. He's already taken off. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto, or sometimes Ikume Tenno, or Ikume no Mikoto. There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest to find a mysterious magical fruit. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died. Taji Momori mourned. He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. It is said that that fruit is still inside the shrine behind us. Really? Fruit of immortality. Yes. Thirty five, there's some truth to that. <laughs> not interested? No, not really. I'd rather have normality than immortality. The flower over there. Flower? You can't see it from here, can you? I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. An iris. Uh -huh, iris. More specifically, a winter iris. <clears throat> this is the same flower that was on display at Iris's house. Yeah, how did you know? It's the same kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the Eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? That's why the flower means good news and hope. Date, we have no time to waste. We should get moving. Got it. Alrighty then. Uh, cold storage warehouse. Whoop. A whoop, 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 whoop. See if anything happens here. Most likely just awkward discussion. I saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. Kind of gross. Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. <laughs> That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? 
It's a sink machine. That's not an explanation. Tell me how it works. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? <laughs> I've heard of it. The Blood Brain Barrier, right? Inside the school, there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it, yeah. The Blood Brain Barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. Nanotech? Yeah! Technology related to really small things, like really teeny tiny things. And when they make a machine, they're called nanomachines. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Some of the cutting edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Well, I don't know if it was like beep, beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so. So it's a liberal. Largely accurate. <laughs> Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative ninth power. A nanometer is therefore 0 0.00000001 meters. The sink machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers, so sink nanomachines are far smaller than that. Damn. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. <laughs> What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables, and on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sink to work, we have to get the nanomachines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and... No, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't mm. have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes, then go to the back of your eye socket, then through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. <laughs> Way to ruin it. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. 
What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes, or else the house will collapse on our heads. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Hmm. Hey, Date. You saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. Hmm. Date, that means you're... Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that! Alright. Cool.